Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video and it's time once again to take a look at some first reviews and this time we are going to take a look at the first reviews for the new mutants which started getting reviews actually I think yesterday so I'm sure there's plenty of reviews I saw one review and it wasn't very good <laughs> but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean anything I saw one review it was I think a, like a two out of five but you know what? That doesn't mean anything. That does not mean anything. It could it could still be good. That was one review. Okay, I'm sure Tenet has a two out of five. I'm sure great films. I, I'm sure somebody gave Schindler's List, Godfather, Goodfellas, all these great movies. I bet some people gave it a two out of five. So that doesn't mean anything. Is the New Mutants gonna be the Goodfellas of superhero X Men movies? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Uh, anyway, well, that's my phone. Sorry. All right, let's get to it. Uh, we're gonna go on Rotten Tomatoes first, and then we'll go on Metacritic. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. All right. Uh, let's just scroll down slowly. Let's see. Uh, oh, there it is. New Moons. All right. Yeah, let's click on it. I, mean, I don't want to see a little number. I want to see a big number. Oh no, nope, that's the trailer. Okay. All right. Maybe I have to scroll down a little bit. Oh shit! It hurts. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> all right okay <laughs> 25 percent. it's only 12 okay i guess that makes sense considering nobody wants to go to a theater to see it because you know the <laughs> you know that uh i don't want to say it because I don't, I don't think you're allowed to say the the pandemic you can say that i think um oh jesus three years my god this was come out two and a half years ago first trailer came out like almost three years ago i think it came out like like October, I think. I think it, it came out like October 2017. That first trailer. I could be wrong. Maybe maybe it was maybe it was a little later. I think it was. So it's been almost three years since that trailer came out, and it's finally out. And uh, a 4.7 average rating. I always look at the average rating. I think the average rating is way more important because that shows you what it actually is. So really, of all the people that scored it, what number? A numerical uh, or even like a, a, a an A grade. I mean, an A grade, a letter grade. Uh, the average rating is really like a 47%, which it isn't terrible, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Um, it should have been rated R. Anyway, uh, <laughs> all right, let's see if there's more reviews, because sometimes Rotten Tomatoes kind of fucks up and doesn't keep adding reviews. And we're going, whoa, Scott Mendelson going far. Oh, Sean Chandler. Sean Chandler is a good channel. Check him out. Oh, that's way more than 12 here, right? One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 16 reviews. Uh, and I should have counted how many fresh. 1, 2, 3. Sean Chandler liked it. 4. 4 out of 16. So what is that? Wait, I'm sorry. Did I fuck that up? There was 12 reviews, right? It said on the top. Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm dumb. I get. Oh, you know what? I think I was counting the rotten... No, I, I guess when it said three... All right. Yeah, no, it definitely was, because now it's 4.5. Okay, so it just updated. All right, so there's 16 reviews. 16 reviews. Um, 25%. I guess let's read some of the reviews. Um, I was actually kind of looking forward to this movie, too. I, I For some reason, I I, I thought it, it being delayed was going to be... It was going to be like one of those things like, uh, like Cabin in the Woods that got delayed, delayed, and delayed. Not because it was a bad movie. It was just that it was a kind of a weird fit for that genre. Not that well. What it what I don't want to spoil what Cabin in the Woods is if some people haven't seen it. I'm sure most people have seen that movie at this point if they want to see it. Um, great film. Just go into it blind. Uh, Scott Mendelson, Jesus. It's the worst X Men movie ever. Akin to watching a terrible TV pilot for a series that you already know didn't get picked up. <laughs> that sucks. But Sean Chandler liked it. If you ever wanted The Breakfast Club as a horror film set in the X Men universe, you now have it. It may not fully live up to the potential of that sentence, but I had a good time with it. Okay, you liked it. Best, a movie best forgotten by all involved. Joe Blow. Okay. The New Moons is almost certainly the end of the line, and Boone doesn't go do enough to justify its inclusion as or in inclusion as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hey, I can't. I can barely even read. So you know, this guy, this guy got a blurb in a in Rotten Tomatoes. So that's good. It's not perfect, but I enjoyed this little teenage superhero origin story film. Um, Rachel Wagner. I follow her on uh, Twitter. She's pretty cool. Uh, Chris Snuckman didn't like it. Well, you know, he gave it a C plus. It's, it's like what? What would, you, what would you say a C plus is on, on a a regular zero to ten rating? I would say that's a like a six point five, right? It's not bad. 
feels like the movie doesn't have anything else up its sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. Applauding viewing experience, even with lowered expectations, is a better fit for television as Boone is making a network pilot, not a big screen experience. All right. Very, very little new here. It may not become a cult film, but it's a solid adventure film. A failure, but also a glimmer of hope, even with all of its problems, which are many. The film shows that another superhero and mutant film is possible. Okay. I, I think uh, X-Men movie is definitely possible. I, I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that a X-Men movie could still work. Like, like sure, Apocalypse was not good. Dark Phoenix sucked. This, I guess, sucks. Um, but, <laughs> that's the last three X-Men movies. Well, actually, no. It's not, well, yeah. No, it isn't, because the one in between dark Phoenix and apocalypse was Logan and Logan was phenomenal. They, I mean, that, that is easily top five, maybe even top three superhero films of all time. Uh, it's, it's terrific. It's a great film, very dramatic, very dark, um, and very good. Very, very good. And very violent. Um, and a great, uh, conclusion to, uh, um, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and Patrick Stewart as, uh, Xavier. I, uh, I'm a little upset about this because I thought this and like Logan were the two movies that would have like something different to do besides, you know, like how, how X-Men kind of just devolved to, Oh, Magneto, he hates everybody and uh, Xavier has to stop him. And uh, there's another villain and uh, uh, Jessica Chastain as an alien and fucking Oscar Isaac as t- uh, the guy from Power Rangers. And it's just like, I don't, know, I don't know. It just felt like villain of the week every every new movie and like Days of Future Past is a great film, but that one kind of got not ruined, but it definitely got. It, it it it's not as good now. Seeing where they went, you know, with with Apocalypse and um the other one, <laughs> I forgot Dark Phoenix. Um, it's still a great film. Days of Future Past is just. Yeah. I think Days of Future Past actually works perfectly as a conclusion to that franchise. Really, I, I do. I honestly do believe it does. Like, you, you can end that the way the way Days of Future Past ends. You could be like, that's a satisfying conclusion. Everything's done. Everything's wrapped up, and it's a happy ending technically. Um, and you could say, that's it. We're done. X Men. You know. And then you could say Logan is a good conclusion after that. Maybe that's many years later, and then just shit went down. You know. Um, yeah, Logan is actually a better conclusion. X Men Days of Future Past is a better conclusion to X Men movies, where Logan is a great conclusion to that franchise. Period, meaning all of them, every single one. The X Men series for that like trilogy, which is First Class and some was there some no actually I guess it wasn't trilogy. It was just First Class and then Days of Future Past. Whatever. I just realized that those rhyme. First Class and Days of Future Past. I just realized that. Anyway. Apocalypse doesn't fucking rhyme though. <laughs> I gotta ruin that. Anyway, uh, let's go to Metacritic, I guess, and we, we'll wrap this up. I don't want this one to be too long because I also want to do the Bill and Ted one. I didn't notice um, the. Bi- I think I, I didn't notice the critic review for Bill and Ted actually. Maybe we'll do. You know what? Let's do Bill and Ted. Okay, there we go. Well, I. <laughs> all right, never mind. I saw the Bill and Ted one here. Um. All right, well there you go. Bill and Ted, baby. Bill and Ted's great. Hell yeah. Bill and Ted face the music. All right, well. That's awesome. All right, fuck. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I'm going to do both of those, I'm going to get spoiled by one of them. I guess, actually, it looks like if I did the New Mutants second, then I wouldn't have been spoiled by that one. But anyway, Bill and Ted Face the Music is doing well. Um, but, uh, there you go. Do New Mutants. All right. Hell yeah. Bill and Ted, baby. All right, there's only two reviews on here. 38 and 50, okay. We're, well, uh, audience reviews are okay, I guess. Ah! This movie is see good. Has good characters, horror, horror, and it's better than Apocalypse. Well, yeah. I thought New Moons was actually a really good film. The first half of the film, I feel, develops the characters very well, and then everything pays off the way you want it to in the second half, okay? In spite of its many flaws, without waiting so long, blah, 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 okay, whatever. Logan, 77, baby. And Days of Future Past, 75. Look at that. That was a great back-to-back right there. I mean, I, Apocalypse was in between, but we can forget about that one. Uh, <laughs> I just forget that one doesn't exist. This is, this is, this is like that one doesn't exist, and then we have the two best X-Men things, and then we, uh, the X-Men's done. Man, there's no more X-Men. It's over. The Dark Phoenix, that doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Anyway. <laughs> All right, so there you go. I guess that's my reaction to Bill and Ted also. <laughs> I guess let's, let's take a look at Bill and Ted also. We might as well. Uh, 66, 31 critic reviews. That that makes me really happy because I did see a couple of decent reviews for it already. Um, 
uh connor over at uh crp rights who it's a site i, I actually dot com by the way uh is a uh, site i write for he said he really liked it so seco of rare sincerity we'll, we'll take a quick look at this because i do i'm gonna watch oh they didn't like it um new york post and i live in new york so now i'm embarrassed uh, the film is weightless and super goofy, a blissed out air balloon of nostalgia. It zips right along and makes you smile and chortle. It's a surprisingly sweet spirited love story. Love story. I guess they love each other, man. It's silly and occasionally a little slow and it could use the kind of in-person audience that I won't get in these yeah, pandemic times. You know what? I thought the same freaking thing when I saw a trial. I'm like, I want to see that in theaters because if I was in a theater filled with Bill and Ted fans, it would be amazing. Even if the movie kind of sucked. Those two together, I can already tell, still had the same chemistry. Because those two are so good together. Oh, Alex Winter and freaking Keanu Reeves, man. The conclusion of Bill and Ted Face of Music is pure corn, and by that point, they've earned it. It's a film that's somehow both offhand and meticulous, shaggy yet crisp, and the apparent joy of its uh, creation is infectious. I laughed through, through a lot of it and smiled through the rest. What a treat this movie is. With story built around the need to bring everyone, all the oddballs and weirdos and lost friends and new friends together with peace, understanding, and a lack of judgment, maybe now is the time we really, truly need Bill and Ted. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. What a perfect time. Party on, dudes. Uh, like its predecessors, Bill and Ted Face the Music is ultimately just friendly fluff, but Winter and Reeves are charming together, and the need for Bill and Ted to grow up a little helps give the film a backbone. Oh, I can't wait to watch it, but I want to watch the other two first because I haven't seen it in a long time. IGN gave it a 7 out of 10. What'd they say? Bill and Ted Face the Music breezes by for... Nope, that's not IGN. <laughs> well, they did a great job too, Screen Crush. Uh, Bill and Ted Face the Music is a pleasant escape for the quarantine stricken... For the quarantine stricken. A sweet and entertaining romp that defies expectations by largely recapturing what worked about the series so many years later. I'm happy about it, man. The, the whole half-baked sequel is a forced exercise willing into... Eh, I'm not reading that. I'm here to be hyped about Bill and Ted. I'm not reading that shit. I guess let's go to Rotten Tomatoes also, because I didn't notice what the score was there. Uh. Oh, it wasn't here. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> oh, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> I, was say, I, didn't, I didn't see it at all. Definitely. It's right there. 82%. Nice. Hell yeah. That's great. 6.7. That works. All right. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, we'll look at maybe two, a couple of reviews. We're, we're, we're good. So this is like a double feature. You get two. You get two for the price of one. Yeah, two first reviews for a price of one. Uh, I like that life hasn't turned Bill and Ted into two jaded men with a strong case of a middle age crisis. They keep all their youth, innocence, and enthusiasm. Hell yeah! Dean Parasite, that's the director, nails Bill and Ted face the music as Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter return triumphantly to save the world. Hell yeah! The good news is that what could have gone wrong in a million different ways is actually funny. <laughs> Hell yes! This is good enough to justify its existence. Uh, look at this eight eight three. Oh my god! Look at all these cute air guitar. I love it. So good. Oh my god! I can't wait though. Five out of five. Come on. All right. All right. I'm hyped. So anyway, there you go. That's my. F hey, you know what? New Mutant sucked, but you know what? Two long-awaited movies. One because it, it's it's been delayed for three years, and the other one because it's been not even delayed. Like it was just not being made for years and years and years. Um both of them coming out one's great one's not so good anyway there you go that's it i hope you enjoyed it thank you till next time i'll see you guys later goodbye